Today topic is Reflux Ratio in the Distillation Column What is the reflux ratio and how it affects the number of plates and trays in the distillation column? The reflux ratio is the ratio of amount of the liquid fed back to the column as reflux to the amount of liquid withdrawn as distillate. This is the distillation column. Feed is introduced here. During distillation process distillate collect from the top and the residue collect form the bottom. From top of the column, vapors condensed in condenser and fed back to the distillation column as reflux. As we know, the reflux ratio is the ratio of amount of the liquid fed back to the column as reflux to the amount of liquid withdrawn as distillate. Hence R equals to L by D. Effect of reflux ratio on the number of plates or trays. At total reflux or infinite reflux ratio, number of plates are required, minimum. Operating lines of both section coincide with diagonal. As the reflux ratio decreases, the number of stages increases. And hence the operating lines of both section move towards the equilibrium curve along with the feed line. At minimum reflux ratio, the number of stages infinite and the operating lines of both section along with the feed line cut the equilibrium curve at point P. Hence in short, at the minimum reflux ratio, the number of trays in distillation column infinite. As the reflux ratio increases, the number of trays or plates decreases. And at total or infinite reflux ratio, the number of trays or plates in distillation column will be minimum. If you like my video please subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon. Thank you.